Hello everyone, this is Nal with another video on VMware uh, Certified Professional BCP uh, Certification. In this video, this is a third video, actually this is the fourth video. Uh, and in the previous video, we have uh, created our architecture uh, within our lab environment. And uh, so we had, uh, uh, we had uh, one Windows Server, one ESXi host. In this video, we are going to learn how to install and work with vCenter in uh, in vSphere 6.7 infrastructure. Now vCenter is basically, you can think of a vCenter as being a management console for multiple ESXi host in the environment. It is more than a, just for simple, it is more than just a management. It is, it provides through vCenter, we can provide high availability, also fault tolerance, also a lot of, uh, lot of exciting features within, uh, within the ESXi, e ESXi environment. Now the version of vCenter we'll be working with is uh, in its is uh, 6.7 and it will be a vCenter appliance. It is normally known as VCSA. VCSA meaning vCenter Server Appliance. So it will be an appliance. Appliance is uh, appliance is basically a server uh, that is uh, basically uh, appliance is is known as a ready-made uh, installed application. Ready-made installed application or packaged application. So when you install a uh, VCSA uh, appliance, what happens is uh, once you do, once you uh, once you complete the installation, at the end the appliance will become a VM inside ESXi host. So there are two ways of having infra uh, vCenter. One way of having vCenter is that you create a Windows server and then you install vCenter on that. So that 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 becomes standalone Windows server, or it is simply known as a Windows server. Uh, the the second type of Windows Server vCenter is uh, VCSA, which is uh, vCenter Appliance. And uh, vCenter Appliance is a uh, vCenter server that can be hosted on ESXi host. So on ESXi host, it can uh, it can it can be hosted as an ESXi host. Now with version 6.5, uh, Windows vCenter has already been uh, removed, and now in 6.7 and above, uh, it is all the features of Windows uh, vCenter are now present in VCSA. So in order to have VCSA in our environment, the architecture will look something like that. Uh, we already have a Windows server from which we can connect to ESXi ESXi host and on ESXi host uh, we have one VM that we created in the previous video and uh, once we install the VCSA appliance uh, this vCenter will become another VM on ESXi host oh, so that that is one thing and then once the vCenter VCSA is installed then we will join these two ESXi host inside vCenter to manage both ESXi host so VCSA appliance can uh, manage thousand vCenter, thousand ESXi host at one time, and uh, one v, uh, VCS from uh, from one VCSA server. You can think of this as a main management console for let's say hundreds of ESXi hosts. So this will be one console, and on that console you can have many ESXi hosts installed. Now in order to install VCSA or vCenter, so you can remember that it is something center of uh, the activities you can remember this by uh, just an analogy that it is a center of activities for all ESXi hosts. So whatever is happening on all ESXi hosts, basically uh, this is done through vCenter. So uh, uh, in order to install this vCenter, all we need to do, first of all, we need to have uh, Active Directory and DNS set up in this environment. And uh, once the Active Directory is installed, the DNS will be also there uh, in an environment. Now your question might be, that if vCenter is on for vCenter to be is there a requirement for Active Directory? I would say no, it's not an absolute requirement for Active Directory. vCenter can work without Active Directory as well, uh, but it is better to have Active Directory. And so all of the environments, uh, real environment, they all have Active Directory, and vCenter is integrated with Active Directory. Uh, so in our in in so in our environment, what we are going to do on our Windows Server, we are going to install Active Directory and DNS and once it is installed then we are going to create a A record for we are also going to create a reverse lookup zone and A record for VCSA 
so that will be uh, the, so, uh, so that will be the main configuration for active directory and dns we're not going to do much in active directory and then we are we are going to download vcenter from uh, vmware website i've already downloaded it and you can download it from there and then we can start the installation so the installation goes into two stages stage one and stage two stage one is extending it uh, so it is like uh, extracting the files for installation and stage two is the configuration of vCenter and after that we will continue with the rest of the vCenter configuration so let's get started so as per so the first part is that uh, we are I'm going to install quickly Active Directory on server number one So here I'm on this server and on this server what we are going to do I'm going to go to first of all go to server manager and within server manager I am going to go to so we have already named it properly if you're following the video you can start from video one uh, we named it properly we have an IP address as well uh, so here I am going to go to dashboard and install ADDS role so in this I'm going to quickly install ADDS role and here all I need is ADDS ADDS role and at the same time I'm going to select DNS role and what I'm going to do is one more requirement for Active Directory is that we need to provide a DNS IP address uh, so it will give us an error message if we if we don't so I'm going to go to Ethernet 0 uh, so your first network card where you have the IP address set up and within DNS I'm going to just I'm just going to use the same IP address same IP address of this this server because this will be a DNS if you don't do this then uh, Active Directory installation wizard will give you an error message for that I just added the DNS IP address go to next and next and next and let's see if we meet all of the prerequisites uh, sometime it will give an error message here if you if you haven't set a admin password sometime if you haven't set a DNS IP address that what I just did and it can also throw some other warnings as well the warnings are fine if there is an error message then we ha will have to fix that error message so I'm gonna try and make these short videos so maybe installation of vCenter uh, can be around two or three videos. So once the Active Directory and DNS installation is done, uh, I think that should be uh, that should be good for this video. We are going to uh, start with the vCenter installation in the second video. So I'm going to pause the video here. So Active Directory installation is done. Now I need to promote this DC. So that starts another wizard and in this case uh, this is a new forest and i'm going to provide a new domain name so that is 360 cloud.local and next and in this i'm going to provide uh, the DCRM uh, DSRM password which is the directory services restore mode password so it is all done and if we don't need DNS delegation and it will automatically get the NetBIOS name which is the first name of the domain so it will be 360 cloud we don't have to do anything here so and the name is here and all we need to do is that it will show us the path uh, that where Active Directory will be installed no need to change anything here we're going to review all of the options and next so once everything uh, <coughs> is uh, fine as per our configuration uh, we can go back and make any changes otherwise we can just click install once that comes back 
So he comes back with some warnings. Warnings are fine. Otherwise, I mean, most of the things are fine. If there would have been an error message, then we would have had to fix it. So now it will it will uh, install Active Directory, and once Active Directory is fully installed, DNS will be installed as well. That will be will make sure Active Directory is properly installed, and uh, and so uh, so I'll pause the video right here. So it will restart. So I'm gonna close this down. Close, close, and the server will restart so server came back i'm gonna log in so once you log in just open server manager server manager is already opening and within server manager we can make sure that everything is here active directory users and computer and we can also make sure that dns is here as well so dns and active directory is there and all we need to do in order to prepare for uh for uh, for vCenter installation, we can uh, set up a reverse lookup zone. So reverse lookup zone is mostly not created by default uh, in uh, in uh, with, within an Active Directory network. You'll have to do it manually. So for that reason, I'm just going to go to uh, DNS. And within DNS, I'm going to go expand. So uh, forward lookup zone is already there and for the reverse lookup zone I am going to create a new zone for this. It is not absolutely required uh, but uh, it is a, it, it's a good practice. So I'm just going to create a reverse lookup zone. So you just need to provide the subnet and that's it. Rest is very simple. Reverse lookup zone is created. The next uh, point here is so our Active Directory is ready. DNS is ready. We are logged in. So the next the the, the one point that is related to vCenter is that we need to create a e record for vCenter. So e record for vCenter it comes from our architecture. So our architecture is right here and this is the name of the vCenter so the name of the 360 cloud vcs is 01 i'm just going to copy this and the ip address is 10.40 so that i'm i am going to create in this so go to dns in the dns manager go to your zone and create a, a host record here i'm just going to provide the name or i'm just going to type the name here so VCSA01 So IP address is 40 and here I'm just going to say create a PTR record because we created uh, we created this record. So the name of the server uh, IP address is there and also a PTR record is also created for this. So in this video we have created uh, we have started uh, making the infrastructure for vCenter and we have already uploaded, uh, we have already installed Active Directory and DNS. In the next video, we are going to install the vCenter.